The test lab is the heart of the Infinet Wireless R&D department. People who work there every day face the issues which have to be solved in an extraordinary way with fundamental knowledge and outside-the-box thinking applied. Infinite wireless solutions meet the highest standards and are able to work smoothly in any conditions. It's because our core goal is to provide the unprecedented reliability of our devices. And this is one of the premises where our prospective devices come dismantled only, in the form of boards, antennas and radio modules. Here, we can spot various equipment, such as frequency counters and spectrum analyzers, power meters and thermal cameras, programmable attenuators and signal analyzers. The testing process itself can be divided into stages, and each of them the most crucial characteristics of the future devices is being controlled. One of those stages is thermal testing. In the thermal cameras in our test lab, it is possible to create conditions of both far nose and a desert. Temperature range there varies from minus 55 up to plus 60 degrees Celsius. In the thermal camera, we test all the subsystems such as power circuit, wire interfaces, radio module. The next mandatory part is measuring the transmit power level and its calibration. Now, we need to be sure that power output is in keeping with the stated to within a single decibel on any frequency from the operating range and with any temperature. In general, uh, when the temperature is increasing, typically a uh, power amplifier gain is decreasing and vice versa. At the testing stage, it is crucial to accurately measure those characteristics and make necessary adjustments to transmit power control algorithm. Measuring the sensitivity level of the receiver is another remarkable testing stage. Here, accuracy is what matters the most. That's why, to minimize the uncertainty, we don't use antennas and make it in the link built on coaxial cables or on waveguides, depending on the operating frequency range. A high-precision adjustable attenuator is installed between the transmitter and the receiver, so it is possible to change the attenuation in the radio pass with a step of half a decibel. In this way, the attenuation at the point of receiver sensitivity is found. Not all the measurement is being held with the help of cables and waveguides. To be sure, that together with the antenna, radio parameters are keeping with the stated, we test infinite wireless devices with antennas in specially designed rooms. It's extremely crucial to minimize radio waves reflection from room surfaces, and that's what we use specially radio-absorbing material for. Apart from study of individual links characteristics, we are interested in how a highly loaded system with a high number of subscribers works. With the help of those stands, we can measure the throughput of a base station with the different number of subscribers together with various types of traffic paths. In the scope of development, every product is due to mandatory going through all the above-mentioned testing stages. That's why we can guarantee that radio links built with the help of infinite wireless solutions meet all the standards both in far north and extreme heat conditions.